I was watching a uh, YouTuber and they was doing an episode of uh, Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Stack. So I thought I'm going to make a video uh, on uh, Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Stack. I think it debuted in uh, on television late 80s, 86, 87, somewhere in there. Anyway, me and my dad fell in love with the show. And my mom and my sister, but me and my dad really loved the show or program. And one thing uh, was unique about Robert Stack's voice. It, it was relaxing, calm, a little haunting, and it, and it drove you in. It, it, when he would talk, it would take me back to my childhood of the 1970s. Maybe something happened then that I didn't hear about because we only had three channels on television when I was growing up. And maybe it's something I didn't hear about. And I was learning maybe for uh, learning about it for the first time myself. But I loved his voice because it took me back in time. Yet it was very relaxing. And you know, uh, you know, he's talking about a code world, yet it can be solved. And it just now, you know. Now I know I may not have a voice like Robert Stack, but let's say an executive producer came to me and gave me a list, and Unsolved Mysteries was on that list. And let's say they offered me a lot of money to host. A new unsolved mysteries I'd be very tempted to do it that's how much I loved the Robert stack back in the 80s and 90s oh I'm not saying I'm better than him no you know my uncle Pete my dad's brother once said and a quote you can get used to about anything yeah yeah he said, you can get used to about anything, and he's right. You know, you might be a little uh, nervous because you're not really prepared. You've not done it a long time. Robert Stack in front of the camera, you can tell he was relaxed because he did it for a long time. Been in a lot of movies. But that is one show, if they offer me a lot of money, I would host now, I don't think there's anything unique about my voice at all. Now, of course, I'm on a I'm on a $100 Kodak PlaySport with probably a cheap microphone. I'm not in front of a studio microphone, no. So I would sound obviously different on a studio microphone. But that's one show... You know, if they had, if 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 on the list was soap poppers, I'd say no, no soap poppers, absolutely not. But if unsolved mysteries is there, I would host it or try to. Yeah, you can go ahead and laugh. But let's go back to Robert Stack. He just, oh yeah, one time we was watching, <laughs> and we we uh, somebody in the county said. Our county, McCreary, is going to be on unsolved mis Yeah, the word got around real fast. They captured a criminal in the county my mom and dad and I, my sister, lived in. They captured a criminal. So, boy, you know, it's going to be aired uh, Wednesday, for example. Boy, I tell you what, we set our alarm clocks by that one. And it showed the McCurry County Sheriff's Department arresting us. And my dad just, he went to bits. Yeah, you know, now, you know, we're famous, we're famous, we're famous. <laughs> I mean, you know, that was pretty cool. You know, when your county, you know, the area you live in or close by gets on unsolved mysteries. It's like Hollywood or whatever has come knocking at your door now, I'm trying to think what year that was seemed like that was uh, 1990 and might when we was watching when well, we got word of it hey they captured a criminal in our county 
everybody that's watched tonight. And boy, we, we did not miss that show. Matter of fact, Dad took the telephone off the receiver so nobody could call. <laughs> yeah, he, he unplugged, unplugged the telephone. Mom laughed at him and says, what if somebody needs this? Dad says, if it's an emergency, they'll pull up in this driveway. He said, I'm not going to let somebody screw up this. I'm not going to let somebody screw up this show program. So he literally, he literally pulled the plug out of the wall. Yeah. My dad was wanting to watch Unsolved Mysteries that much because it happened in the county he literally pulled, unplugged the cord from the wall and, and put the telephone to the side. So we could, would not, could not be disturbed. Yeah, I think it was like 1990, might have been 89. We watched it and, you know, show the sheriff had the, I forget who was, criminal, had him in handcuffs and dad just laughing. Yeah, you know, my dad went to bits over it. He really did. But back to Robert Stack, probably one uh, is the greatest host of a show. It, it's, he just had that perfect, unique voice. It would just, it, 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 it draws you in.